Yeah. 
Hey there, Speed Gaming. So this is the Speed Gaming Live 2024 Super Metroid Randomizer tournament featuring Map Rando. And uh, we just witnessed uh, game one of Bressingham Dirt. And it was such a good race that I'm going to jump in and talk about uh, game through, talk you through game through, too. Maybe also reflect on the first game. To the benefit of uh, YouTube. Uh, but here we are. About to start the second match in the best of three. And this is a loser elimination round. And uh, if you can believe, this is the seventh seed of Bressingham against the eighth seed Derp. Um, so this is. This is a big match. Like, we were already expecting good things, but, uh, yeah. Uh, what a first game. Came down to really small choices, and uh, they were never really that far apart. Uh, but here we have what's called divergence. Left versus right. Right is always the slower way. And left is gravity suit. Uh, right is hot and soft locks. So this looks like a win for left. Missile pack. I guess it's not yet a soft lock. You can just go back up the elevator. Uh, but gravity suit, that's a sign of a fast seed. Uh, the first game was very early, both suits. We actually saw Varia first. But logically, it was gravity first. But then it turned into a morph hunt. Uh, so, so the really fast seeds are going to be two suits and a morph ball. Um, but if it's two suits and no morph ball, then uh, I think that's okay too. But let's see what actually happens. So Bressingham off to the the better start. You go left for gravity suit, and then turning right is the only thing you can do. Uh, so not that way. You can go up to the crate refill. And... Has Derp seen this? Supers. That's not a way out. So, press S to reset too. Press in a little bit of a lead, but not much. Okay, dirt back of the ship. Uh, so, it's understandable to think that you could uh, just take the Spore Spawn Super Drop because there's an elevator right here. But it turns out those weren't connected. Especially seeing the the Forgotten Highway Meridia Elevator. In earlier builds of Map Rando, uh, that was connected to the Sports Bond Super Room every time. That elevator room. Um, but in this case, it's not. They're going to connect up at Parlor, but without Morph, uh, you can't really get through. And so we have Bressingham checking these writer doors. Dirt following. Oh, with gravity suit, uh, you can do a lot of water rooms. Deciding not to go through Coliseum. After sinking time into crossing the mode already. But that's fine. With the save room here and branching paths, you can pick wherever and then reset if you're wrong. But now we have fish tank. Very watery room here. I can see why the seed would want to give them gravity suit. For the the randomizer to give out an early suit, most of the time it's uh, somewhat forced to. Um, it's in cases where 
a single item is going to be the only way to unlock the progression. And it's going to try not to give you a suit as much as it can, but sometimes it just has to give you a suit. And then other times there's also some RNG, and you can get a suit off of that too. But we have a wave beam. Wave beam's filler. Uh, but it's also has some interesting logical uses that you can think about. In the ver very early game, it'd be for gate glitching, because we don't have any missiles yet. So we're going to keep an eye out on how wave beam is useful. But for right now, it's good for killing enemies. And that's one thing that helps go fast. Helps you go fast is being able to kill enemies quickly. Uh, P shots are going to be slow. You, get, you have to stop and shoot multiple times. Running through enemies is going to stop your momentum and eventually you run out of energy. But uh, these, uh, a lot of map rando seeds don't start fast. You have to build up. And they also like to give you this sky missile location, which involves a very casual, pleasant ride through the sky. Well, okay, Bressingham saved it. That would have been relatively devastating to fall. Lose another, like, minute. Uh, Wayne, he's already behind, but uh, did save it. And now that they have Morph Ball, they can go down Parlor and get Supers. Uh, it's kind of the safer option, is to come back to the new ammo that you found, or that you know exists. Instead of exploring forward. And then you also, in addition to that, know that supers unlock the, the middle item of West Ocean. And I find that that has progression a lot of the time. Uh, when it's a very early game location. And then... Um, Bressingham's also in a situation where he doesn't have any kind of missile. So he can't open pink doors even. And that's going to inhibit exploration. Yeah. Derp even running into power bomb doors. Has missiles, has supers. Uh, Breast Lamp does run into bombs. Uh, so bombs are not filler. Bombs are progression item. So that puts them on the same progression step as supers. Supers are filler. But it's not going to count you as having them until this stop. Since you can get back with them. Yeah, and we've once again seen Spore Spawn. Able to kill Spore Spawn now. Having that super pack, he can do a two round Spore Spawn fight. But uh, part of Map Rando is gang runners to practice niche tricks. And so for the tournament, it's going to make them all learn how to do an efficient, optimized sports spawn fight. So yay. I don't know that we've. or how many sports spawns we've seen this tournament. Maybe that's something we should tally up. So, derp into Aqueduct. Uh, it does have a map here once again. Game 1 had a map in the bottom left as well. So, Sandpit has a major. It seems like you can get out. Dragon, Kraid, Rickship. A speed booster location. I didn't see the far right too well. Uh, going for snail clip. This is for two packs of missiles. You can see on the mini map that it's a single pixel dot. So these are going to be two missiles. Gets it very fast. Uh, so that makes it worth it. Normally snail clip takes a few tries. 
as it is. I think it's a two pixel window. Uh, not Magic currently. When you have Gravity Suit, you need either Speed Booster or Morph Plus X Ray to get the Aqueduct items logically. And they're going for the Watering Hole. This is going to be two items, at least of Hollow Dot quality. Uh, the map shows the highest quality item. And here we have E Tanks and Reserves, and those are the same quality. Uh, we are still in the early game, so hollow dots are high value. Uh, power bombs are like the most desired. E tanks are going to be after that for health. Uh, same with reserves, and then supers are just good to have. And you don't really decide until a bit later uh, how many supers you want. But super is generally good. Okay, so that's Sandpit and um, Speed Booster Hallway. With the E-Tank Reserve, he can get through Speed Hallway now. Uh, it's it's something like two E-Tanks worth to cross the room without Speed Booster. But it's a, it's a check that you want to have the, the extra health for. If you're playing in the Mystery Tournament, uh, I think both of these two are. Then you want to know your speed hallway health counts. As well as all those upper norfer uh, health requirements. What's possible, as well as what's logical. And we run into Fantoon. Uh, five missile Fantoon. So it's going to be harder to get to two or three rounds. Like two would be very difficult, but possible. This stream could do it, and uh, not gonna be too deadly though. And that's because we have the gravity suit, as well as the map rando change to small energy drops, where they give ten instead of five, and so that's a. Uh, the change to the energy drops, it's very small. It's not actually that noticeable, uh, but it adds up quickly. So you can really feel the difference. And also, don't really notice this there. That's a cool change. Phaser and X ray, I think it was. Phaser X ray, cool. So we have the double value sand pit. Two low values equal one value. And then we'll see what happens here. So we're going to have about 300 health for the run through Speed Hall. And that means not enough to get back. But we'll see what the item is. Ah, there you go. Well, Drip's just set now, isn't he? This is 12 minutes, both suits morph. Uh, there is a energy refill to the far right. A derp has uh, power bombs too. So he's in really good position. Maybe this is race not looking as close as the first one. But currently they've all done things that the other is going to do anyway. So there hasn't so far been a big, like, game deciding difference. It just becomes important right now for Pressingham to get to this various suit and power bombs, and then otherwise, it's going to come down to their choice in where they go next, as far as getting the boss kills. And like um, the biggest differentiating factor right now is going to be how much backtracking they have to do after the boss kills. So Bress is in Brinstar, and that seems not good. 
he can't do anything here. So I guess he's out. Saved by Batoon. To go down, he needed power bombs, and to go left, he needed a way to kill Batoon. Which is probably Charge Beam. So it seems like it's just going to force Bressingham into the correct path. And he's going to have the Fantoon kill, but that was at the cost of going up and down Criteria. So it's going to still depend on where the remaining bosses are. Uh, as well as Charge Beam. Okay, got a bit of a slow grade fight here. Doing crate, only one of the nails gives drops. Okay, it does have enough missiles now to finish. And that's gonna be crate. That's a boss kill piece now. And speedless speedway. That is, in fact, a trick you can do. But you cannot get back to the right. That is a left-only trick. You can G-mode back to the right with these items. So if you were well-practiced in G-mode and willing to do that, you could skip speed this seed. But I think we're going to see both runners look for speed booster. They're also looking for a charge beam. So it's not... It's like looking for two things at the same time. A Bressingham still looking for power bombs. A derp is not going back to Criteria still. So he doesn't have the map for that region. Or was it Criteria? Derp doesn't have the Fantoon kill. However that works. So we are going down Mickey Mouse. Typically a one-way. So in map rando, uh, it can make you go down these one ways. Uh, that is to say, the crumble blocks at the top of the room. Uh, but that means you need to find another way back to ship. Every logical step uh, in the playthrough, it is it guarantees that you can get back to the ship uh, using the the logic settings they're currently on. So when you're making a play like this, you want to look for a likely room that will take you back. Um, so what do we see? We saw an elevator, it looks like. Uh, with all these items, two suits, all ammo, uh, that's usually enough to assume that you're safe to just go back. Uh, like, no matter what room is thrown at you. But there are a couple that are... Like, you have to clear a path from the the other side. Like, if Krokemeyer is guarding that elevator, uh, you can't enter Croc from the left and kill him. And then Pants Room would be another one. Uh, where you're not ready yet, but you don't have a way of knowing if you're ready or not. Get Norfair. Uh, we can IBJ to the top of this room. And get our wreck ship map. Map's going to be the most important thing in Map Rando. Because they give you all the information. And information is everything. You've probably seen area seeds played as part of Mystery Tournament. Um, half of that game is collecting the portal knowledge. So it's a lot like that here. 
once you have your route through the seed, then you can just follow it. And at that point, you get to avoid um, blindly checking things. Pressing ham, going down the sand pit, going to get the two majors. Phaser X ray does not have power bombs. And I think Derp had power bombs at this point. We can go for the, the little bomb jump this time. Uh, last seed, Bressingham did a. It's an angle turnaround, uh, angle cancel turnaround. Something like that. Where you do aim up or aim down, you turn around and you release it during the turnaround. And that will move you a few pixels to the right and only to the right. Um, it's not in hard difficulty. That is a very hard level trick. But a big part of racing, like we're doing in this tournament, is to know how to do tricks that are above the expected difficulty. Because if you do those, then you can go faster. Okay, so now Brest is into the watering hole. This was the E-Tank Reserve. So, um, where were the power bombs? He kind of needs those. And this is where we're starting to see some time loss on Bress's route. There's a major right, I mean, a, a hollow dot right here. Right next to him. Okay. So the next thing he should be doing is going to the speed hall major. But I think this is just routing a little bit less efficiently. So I think Derp's ahead. Uh, the thing is, Derp is very far away from Fantoon. So we're going to see if that matters later on. Uh, but Fantoon is the, the only thing that matters. Or the only difference. If Derp ends up needing to fully backtrack, then that'd be bad. But you already have to partially backtrack for a Frog Speedway, whatever it was over there. I think that was Dragon. And that seems recoverable to backtrack halfway and then continue to Fantan. And then. Otherwise, we also have to find a uh, mother brain and a way to kill Ridley. Uh, we get to see Kraid's head in the ground. That's funny. That's the dead Kraid. I'm gonna skip the super. Okay. Thank you for picking that up. And then to the left is Frog Speedway again. Uh, so they can go left through Frog Speedway, as I said before. But that major there is not going to be Speed Booster. Um, well, I guess there's a few reasons. One is because you need Speed Booster to get out. And it's not going to put an item that you have to soft lock yourself to get in order to get out. And two is because Speedless Speedway is not in hard.
Uh, that also means that we don't know if that major is filler. Other than by having everything else. When you already have both suits and speed, then... That major can't really be that important. So here we have PBs in jail. That's recognizable as a heated single tile room with a top and left door. And that's pretty important to know. Uh, when you're playing Map Rando, you have to kind of learn the, the shapes of important rooms. And so that's one of the ones that stands out. Uh, a lot of the time in, like, the escape... Um, you might uh, pass towards Mother Brain by going through that room. And if you try to take the same path out, it won't work. So it's a tricky one. Uh, so there's a, a learning progression to playing these competitively. And a lot of that is from being able to recognize the rooms on the map. Uh, because if you can recognize every room, then you don't have to you don't have to check the room to see what it is, and you can fully plot a course through a region once you have the the map station. If uh, Bres gets the gate glitch, nice. So it's gonna be a lot faster through this section of workshop. A uh, Batoon hallway. You need either ice or gravity and speed to be able to pass through that logically. The mock droid ice clip is in herd. Uh, without gravity you would also need an item. Uh, Breast left behind various suit I just noticed. Uh, so he is going to have a rough time with the rest of the seed. Seems odd to not take the or not check the major from where he is. So I would assume he's trying to cut corners. At least that's how I remember the map, is that Varia is down and right of his save. In the first game, we saw that they would like, freely reset majors, but that would be after scouting what they were. Uh, Bressingham was more the one who was trying to skip miners uh, before the Ridley fight, and that ended up being a big difference maker. We see speed on derp side. But, uh, from what I saw, it looked like the the difference in the first game came down to they're collecting extra miners before the Ridley fight and then the execution of the Ridley fight itself. And then there was a bit of back and forth in between on how they played each of the small segments of rooms. A GT with a major, I think I saw two more below, one at Croc Escape and the other at uh, the other room. room I won't name right now until we see it again. Ice Beam. Derp falls into the GT fight. He can do the fight. Just needs to know about the safe spot. Safe spot in the GT fight is not expected in heart. So a lot of the time the requirements for passing through GT are going to be a, a bit higher. Either Varia or a lot of E-Tanks plus full beam. So, probably not going to see too many G fights, uh, GT fights logically. Uh, but I think we did get one the other day. Where it was GT into Fantan. 
Uh, but ice is nice. It is required. Ice. With speed, ice is... Like, you're looking for Zeb Skip, and speed is one way, but it doesn't always work. Depends on the on the brain layout. So that's the Brin Star E tank room. The blue Brin, the taco tank room. And that's charge. Uh, so that is good enough to go off of. The croc escape item. You would IBJ to that, I think. So it's only a few rooms away, but it's kind of slow to get to. So I think from here, Drip just goes. So Dragon. That's all I saw from that. I thought we knew about Ridley. It doesn't matter. Uh, yes, this is game two of potential three. Uh, Bressingham took the win the first game. That, let's see, he was an escape ahead, is one way to put it. Uh, Derp ended up failing the escape, uh, but that was after seeing that Bressingham finished. Uh, so that's how close it was. It was just the escape sequence. Uh, and this seed, Derp has the very advantage for almost 15 minutes now. So I don't know if Bressingham can come back. Derp in full go mode, just has to run to the maps, look for the remaining bosses. I don't know that he knows about Fantoon. Because normally that'd be a good place to start. Fantoon is worth a boss kill and a map station. Uh, so it's a very powerful... It's something you want to do as soon as you get go mode. The end game routing, when you don't know where Mother Brain is, is to kill all the bosses you do know about, and then hope to run into the remaining bosses before Mother Brain. Brain. Major. Okay. That's the intel he needed. Saving. Does that save make sense? Where's he going? Oh, yeah, I think he just backtracked from here. We have the Brinstar map. Oh, Torian. I don't remember if he's been through Torian. But otherwise, he needs to go back to... Uh, Norfair and Criteria. So starting up in... Is it 20-ish minutes? But over 20 minutes, it's going to be... Tony Tiong versus Kaizenten. They'll be on Speed Gaming 5. So, this is me setting that up. Yeah, Durf's just gonna head all the way back to get his boss kills now. So the save doesn't seem important for or have any use, but it is nice to take periodic saves in case weird things happen. Uh, in Map Rando, you do want to save often, but that's more for the purpose of doing something risky or trying to reset and save on travel time. If you do get like good items early, then it, 
you don't need to take those safety saves, and it could end up that you don't save for like 20 minutes. And then that itself just starts to feel uncomfortable. Okay, so here's going to be Fantoon. Uh, I'll assume that he's done Torian. I was probably watching him do it. That's probably where Charge was. Uh, so, off of that would know that Fantoon is here in Materia. Pressing him, not getting that various suit anytime soon. But is going to run into the booster. Eventually. Uh, speed and charge as well. I didn't see Derp go through any difficult heated rooms. So it's not being very costly to not have Varia. It's going to be more likely... Well, actually, it's very likely that Pressingham makes these major checks. Because he needs speed and Varia. And charge. Has the option of scouting out hollow dots instead of charge varia oh yeah this one the setup buttons for game for uh, tony and kai's I don't see anything new on the tracker. I looked away. Need the tracker to tell me what happened. Space jump. There it is. Thank you. Yeah, we already knew it wasn't going to be important. And then here's Ridley in Criteria. You know it's Criteria because of the music. And because of the uh, purple tiles on the map. So there's going to be a couple of thematic th things to the regions that everyone's in. The name, the, the color, the music. But Ridley's room is still Ridley's room. Paradox Wave Spacer is... It's the new route beam, uh, so it's good enough where you don't need anything else. You'd even settle for a weaker beam. It, it just give me a standard fight, finish off Ridley with supers. Rest on the, the Wild Goose Chase, looking for speed. Just didn't go the right way. Uh, Derp taking a pretty good order of things, actually. Uh, with Ridley here, it doesn't help to get Fantoon early. So that makes uh, Derp's route just really strong for the seed. There you go. And now we get to watch him run over to uh, Dragon. His speed. That's only going to be so interesting. But once again, this is game two out of three. Uh, we are in the Speed Gaming Live 2024 Map Rando Tournament, where we had qualifiers narrowing down our 60 entrants down to 32. Now we are going through a bracket stage to cut the top 32 down to a top 1. This is Losers Round 2, and... We actually have the 7 seed Bressingham against the 8 seed Derp here. And one of them is going to be eliminated. 
and the other has a long route towards the finals. Yep, you run over. Got a dragon. On. With where charge was, it's it's probably better not to go for G mode. A lot of the time, if you do anything G mode related, it's gonna be just slower than finding the good items. Uh, Derp does know Mother Brain. Why is he getting plasma too? Plasma is going to save a little bit of time. Plasma just on the way to Dragon. Uh, does not have very optimal snail strats. So for future Derp opponents, this is his weakness, the snails. Just pray that you get a shack tool seed and you'll save like 20 seconds on him. Be very, very careful doing that. What Derp just did. If you kill Shack Tool in exactly that way, you can crash your game. Or hard lock your game. So that is using Plasma. I don't think you need Wave. But you need Plasma. You hit both Shack Tool legs at the same time and go through the door. It's not too well known that you can crash on Shack Tool there. But I've seen it happen a few times. Only in Map Rando. Um, I'm pretty sure there's 100% routes that have that loadout that have the potential to crash, but it's just going to be. It's going to reduce some lag frames if you use a missile instead, so no one ever does it uh, the dangerous way. Uh, but it's happened uh, two or three times now, so I looked into it. Fun thing about Super Metroid is that um, you can like play all the ROM hacks that are made for it. Uh, the different speedrun categories, like every inventive way and creative way of playing Super Metroid that exists, and a lot of it's going to have weird ways where it can uh, relate to itself, or relate to the other ways of playing. I'm kind of thinking about the, the Shack Tool crash, because I first saw that in Super Zero Mission, where you like overload uh, the sprites or something. Anyway, uh, so while Derp's route was really good, the seed still wants you to go all the way through the map to get to Mother Brain because speed and charge are over there. And then you have to go all the way back to the start to get to Ridley, essentially. You just don't have a good way of killing Ridley early. And then, uh, and then all the way back to Mother Brain, and then all the way back to the ship. 
And so that happens sometimes. Kind of more likely when there's a suit next to Mother Brain. That's not what happened. That's you. I have to actually send off these other racers now. Kai's and Tony, 10 minutes away. Speed Gaming 5. Today's pretty busy for Map Rando tournament races. Right now we have Bressingham Derp. We have Tony Kai's. We have Nevdi Mo this evening. And then we also have the, the weekly comedy race having a restream. So lots of map random content. The community race is open to anyone. It does have a streaming requirement. But if you join the Map Rando Discord, where races like that are organized, uh, then you'll see that the community is having races pretty much every day, but usually more than once a day. And it's also where you want to take any questions you have uh, regarding the randomizer. Another button. Yeah, unfortunately, this is not cropped, so I can't talk about Mother Brain. is full beam. It's not a hard fight. But we will have to judge Derp on his escape. He did fail the escape last race. We have a minute. Uh, the problem, or the mistake he made last time was going the wrong way at the start. We are on her difficulty. Uh, right. So her difficulty gives you about 50% uh, extra time on the escape. And that means if you go the right way, then you're going to make it especially for these runners so to like to not succeed in the escape pretty much means that you have to take a wrong route and it could be that the route is actually tricky like there could be choices that look close but are actually when you time them not that close we haven't seen anything like that this tournament uh, but that has come up. Uh, the the casual races that we've been running that comes up. It's more when you're playing like closer to your your skill level, I would say, that becomes a more challenging escape. That's gonna be derp taking game two. And that's going to take us to game three, the best of three. Loser is out. Winner continued. Uh, very evenly matched opponents. They're just having the better route in this seed. 
uh, found various suit, a better boss order. Uh, Bressingham's not getting very at all. Uh, so that's just going to turn into a big difference. Uh, but that'll be it. And we haven't quite started yet, but we'll be taking a break between matches and see you in about 10 minutes. I'm going to So welcome back to this game three, this elimination match between these evenly matched opponents. You may have heard of them before. Bressingham, Derp, a very, very experienced Super Metroid randomizer runners. And they've made it to game three. Left versus right once again. Can give us that map check. Not too useful immediately. But this is another win for left. So left is winning. And that's what's important. So it looks like we're going to use the speed booster immediately. Go top right. Uh, run into some water. Uh, so that pair of rooms is very tricky. Uh, I think it's going to be the only thing they can do. Well, they can try and shine spark across Plower House, because that seems reasonable to me. Uh, but top right here, it's going to want you to do a running jump through the door. You can save enough health and shine spark to the ledge at the top. But there's enough space here that it wants you to do a running jump. And also, you can reach the top door with that. So Derp's going to see that uh, he, he just can reach the top. Uh, Bressingham's going to have a bit of trouble. I'm pretty confident that you can have enough health to shine spark, but maybe not. Oh, we get the map. It's going to be two majors above. Uh, you can't really get the Green Hills majors just yet. Okay, so Bressingham's going to fall down, get the map. Uh, maybe doesn't know right now that he can make it to the top door. But that's going to be the only thing that you can do from here. So, you can be forced to learn. Uh, but this is one of the really tricky situations, I'd say. For Map Rando. When you first play Map Rando at the hard level, um, you're not going to be really aware that you can even do these through door gravity jumps. Okay. Another instant gravity seed. Um, but then there's also some gravity jumps that are going to be harder than others. A lot of the like difficult to do ones are going to be taken out of hard logic. Uh, but there's a, a few that are still left. Uh, this running jump. Um, really all of the the jumps where you need more speed to get through are going to be like less obvious until you try it. The problem with going through Plower House is you can't do anything to the right. Like you could tunnel crawl to a major. And you can soft lock yourself. Okay, it does make it up. So Bressingham is on track. Uh, just going to be at a bit of a disadvantage here in the start. Which is not good. We've seen from the first game that they are evenly matched. And it only takes a small difference for someone to take a lead. And already we're going to have Derp off to an advantage. Uh, but this also did 
uh, happening in the first game where uh, Bresingham had a bit more trouble doing some of the earlier tricks, uh, like getting through the Metroid room, or Metroid's one, and was able to come back in the end. So we're into early supers. It's a really good room for having two items. Uh, something mean that can happen is if the door is locked. But th otherwise, they have speed booster. Okay, so just nail this first try. When the pressure's on is when that trick becomes the hardest. So, we're gonna have to take a reset, get space jump again. Unfortunately, also has to go through baby skip, maybe get a firm health back as well. Ah, uh, but you know, those are the the first missiles we've seen. Uh, there's another pack of missiles below Precious Room, and you have to go past a Blue Gate to get to them, but you can use the missiles to get out. But I don't know if that is like the plan or not after this. I don't really know what Space Jump does for us. But he's going for it again. Okay. Redo. Oh no. Um, I don't remember the difficulty of this. It'd be fine and very hard, but... You have to put yourself into a soft lock situation. And so these kinds of tricks are specifically not in hard. Yeah, so pressing I'm going to run into the pink door. They can both definitely do this. Uh, it looks like he uh, was not aware that the gates were down. As soon as you enter the door on the right, the gates close. Uh, but this is going to even things up. Derp actually is taking a death to a waiver. So that is... That's going to mess with your mental game. Taking three resets here, and this is all while going through the, the baby cutscene. Uh, you hear in races all the time how the baby Metroid room is going to decide the races. Uh, if it is close, and then here it is, making a difference. Uh, Breast Cam taking a death now too. It does set you to one energy. And gravity cannot save you. Okay, so we're going to be playing in a stressful but tied situation. So we're going to see how this affects their decision making. And we are also still in the very early game. Uh, so they have to figure out how to route this still. We're still in the... It's a bit of a puzzle, this early game is. Uh, so they need to still figure out where to take this space jump that it's useful. Okay, so Derp is out with uh, space jump. Gave up on missiles. Bressingham, not going to go for missiles. I know I don't like going for the... Like the Crumble Bridge missile. If it's going to be costly to miss it. Okay, so we went up. We'll take that save. Yes, every time you go through the right door of the baby Metroid room, uh, the cutscene will play. But... So I don't know what space jumps for. I'm hoping to learn. You don't have morph ball, so you can't get out with the green pirate items. It's also very easy to forget simple things like that, unless they actually happen to you. One that got me many times was going through single chamber with screw attack. And like not having morph ball. Uh, so the top door here is in logic with a shine spark, but you can't kill spore spawn. 
Without speed, then space jump would give you the top door. But we have speed. The top right door you could gravity jump to. Uh, you're not getting through the Namahe yet, or the Fune. It's pretty common to see that a super missile gets you to the Fire Flea item as early progression. Plasma doesn't help. That's an interesting thing to see. What is uh, the seed thinking? Okay, so Bresta can't find some easier missiles at the moat. <laughs> right behind Spore Spawn. So, no Spore Spawn fight today. Man. I need a, a baby Metroid count as well. How many times have we been here? I'm still interested in knowing what Space Trump's for. They have an E-Tank, so you can get to the Gauntlet door. Next to ship. Ah, uh, heated room. Well, good thing you didn't die. You can kill these crabs pretty quickly with plasma. Uh, technically, there's some rooms that become farm rooms once you have a stronger beam. Ah, uh, we have Norfair Reserve right here. So plasma could be a way to kill the, the dragon enemies. Uh, you really don't want to jump into crabs. You're trying to farm all your health back right now. Or maybe Space Jump gives you the post Krokmeyer farming top left door. Yeah, Spore Spawn. You can farm on Spore Spawn. He's a pretty good farm spot. Interaction with Spore Spawn. Let's go. Uh, bottom right of ship is still not really a thing. Uh... Top left of ship is going to be power bomb locked. And then also take a bunch of health. So he's going to... Pressingham's going to make it through this time. Uh, probably going for the precious major. I think you want to farm the Kago on the way back. Because that would also clear up the runway. He can get the, the wiggle tube item. The Green Hills tube location. Yeah, that's uh, not really how you do it. That would have worked. I guess it is how you do it. Uh, to go to the right, you do the turn around angle cancel thing. And then to get back, you, you do what's called a tunnel crawl. That's where you do spin jumps over and over. But you have to end them in a way where you stand up. Uh, but that's just slow to do, so you don't really want to do that. Checking Precious is going to be a lot nicer. So let's see, it's at Precious. Charge Beam. Oh, that's interesting. Good to have. Perhaps you want to keep it. I guess it's possible the idea was to just scout the, the wiggle tube. Okay, so we have Morph Ball at Norfair Reserve and an E-Tank. Uh, so that's not really a problem to get with the E-Tank being right there. Um, maybe the, the crab farm wasn't going well for Bress. Just left it behind. But, like, if he has a save nearby, then definitely want to get that. And it would help a lot with getting this cube item. Or the pipe item. So having Morph is really big, but Derp does not have Plasma. And Plasma is being really effective as a way to save time. 
I imagine that uh, like when Derp goes down to the Criteria Majors, gets both of those at once, and Bressingham's gonna have to come back. Because Green Hill's item is not that hard to get. At least not that far. Picking another save. Derp's favorite save. And Bressingham should check this now. No fair reserve. I'm not sure exactly what uh, puts, makes this possible for Herd, but you do have an E-Tank, and it's either Space Jump or Gravity Plasma. We're gonna make it so you can get to the items without too much trouble. We find Ridley. Now seeing Morph, uh, Breskingham can go for the Major. Doesn't have Power Bombs yet. I think that's what was needed to get to the the item above the, the Green Hills, like the top right door of Green Hills. That looked like power bombs. Uh, was that a death or a soft lock? It's the baby. I have nightmares. Baby Metroid. Spring Ball is the item. Ah. Uh, plasma, very helpful when you have to go through the top of early supers. It's also showing how useful Space Jump is in Plier House. I don't... Don't do that to me, Rest Camp. It's free, really. Oh, he doesn't have missiles still? Okay. Derp gets the trick. Uh, does a quick drop through the crumble blocks, lands on the item, jumps back up, and then you do another crumble jump. Uh, gonna turn off gravity suit to make these jumps through the morph tunnel easier. Could be doing a short charge instead. And gets supers from it, so supers are really good. Doesn't know about charge plasma. But supers are a way to open green doors. Uh, as I said before, supers are going to open up the fire flea item. It's also possible to do a jump morph over the fire flea, but that is in expert now. Uh, you could spring ball over it as well. We don't really have all of our basic items yet, so we're still... I count this as the early game. So looking for power bombs. Sometimes power bombs aren't needed until very late. I jump. Yeah, I feel like this is something that we've seen in the past in very randomizer seeds, where it gives you so many majors that you don't get basic ammo. But these are some really nice items for movement. High jump speed. So Bressingham in really good position by the looks of it. Uh, is back to... Like, is it really close to where we saw supers? But it does depend on where he goes next. Uh, sequence breaking the spooky missile seems pretty difficult with this runway. So not going to go for it. It can't go down. So that's not an option. Okay, so on Derp's side, he needs to go back to Criteria for... Charge and Spring Ball. And then he also passed up Plasma. 
I think that was the top rated Norfair. We don't have bombs or power bombs. So we are also watching for what Spring Ball can do for us. Okay. It's pressing hand back through the baby room. It has high jump speed, so could go for the skip. And that would save on the health refill. Um, it's actually very rare for the baby Metroid to be in like a a bottlenecking type location where you have to go through it multiple times. Uh, but that looks like the situation we're in. So it's kind of likely that... Yeah, we're going to see that baby Metroid room a few more times on both sides. So far you had to go through it to get to Space Jump. And then we're also here again getting supers. And there is a need to go back to the right, so presumably we're also going to come back once more. Yeah, so Fire Flea's with bombs. Early Fire Flea's usually has a, a progression item. I feel like all of the early locations are good for having progression. Just how it is. Okay, so we get the crab maze. Crab maze is pretty slow. You don't want to have to go through the slow rooms. But, you know, you have to cross the world. The map doesn't care what you want to do. Coming down Pants Room is soft lock. So Breast Cam is going to have to reset his supers to come this way. But Derp is making some progress now. Has the bombs. Charge and Plasma are going to be optional items. Uh, as well as Spring Ball at this point. So he doesn't really need all those. Charge Plasma is just like one of the ways to set up your your weapon damage for end game. Uh, so logic places items where if a location is one way reachable, like going down pants room, the crumble blocks then those are going to be filler locations. And so it's not going to put progression down there, such as a way back out. Um, Dragon would not be considered like early logic, or like a possible currently, but maybe it'd be something that you could sequence break by doing the fight. Um, so it's possible you could get ice or, uh, or grapple down there. But I think grapple is very unlikely. I'd expect this to be a reset. I'm saying. She's on Speed Gaming 
So we have Derp going this way as well. Looks like Derp reset early. But Bressingham is spending a lot of time here. Like, there are a couple of ways that you can get out that wouldn't be in logic, so those items could be down here. But I think he's just spending too much time here. He saw that he can't get the map, so I think he's just leave. The map is going to be power bomb locked. And then this is Derp returning to the Criteria Majors. So going to get Charge and Spring Ball. There is a Hollow Dot on the left. But I don't think this is enough energy to get it. It may still be theoretically possible for a loop to connect to the bottom of Plasma Spark Room. Oh, okay. The loop exists. We just have to kill Ridley. Uh, this is power bombs, is it not? So he can get the map. That's something. This is not worth it, but Bressingham can get the Norfair map out of this. E tank. I guess Derp already explored the important pieces of information over here in Norfair. Uh, but really uh, turned around so much faster. So I would say Derp is ahead. Just doesn't have plasma yet. Uh, I don't think there's any kind of plan on taking care of Uh, really anytime soon. So Plasma itself isn't going to be that um, like deciding of anything. It's just going to speed up rim to rim. But Pressingham is still in Norfair. So this is still time loss. Like all of this time that's been in Norfair counts as time loss. But in the end, you get the, the map out of it. As soon as Derp gets power bombs and also probably grapple, then he probably comes this way. Uh, yeah. I already explored all of that, so... Does see that Fireflees has a major. So, I assume he goes for that next. Or maybe the map revealed that there was no way out. Uh, from what I've kind of noticed from the series is that... Uh, Derp has a better handling of these weird situations. I think he's played more arcade style react to what happens. Uh, like ways of playing Super Metroid. And Pressingham kind of has more of a, a racing way of playing seeds. Or maybe you try to skip items, or just go fast. Uh, we are going left for supers. Supers are going to let Pressingham get the, the Fireflea item. 
Spring Ball would also do it, but you want supers anyway. We get Spazer. So Spazer's going to be useful in the meantime. It's not going to one-hit kill everything like Plasma would. But it's going to like cut it down to like two shots. And that's the value of Plasma currently. Is killing the random enemies in one hit. Because Ridley's not going to... We're not going to take care of Ridley for a long time. We want Varia and... Maybe also a better idea of how the, the map layout works. Because at the end of the day, you gotta route out all of your bosses so that you end on Mother Brain. That's the objective for uh, the four big bosses plus Mother Brain. Then we're on to the ship. Okay, so Derp does have power bombs. He's up in Wreck Ship, actually. That's off of Meridia. And we'll see what Bressingham wants to do. Bressingham's still in an okay position. Uh, both of them were stressed before, after taking uh, two or three resets to the baby Metroid. Now they're going to be feeling worse, but the race must continue. Bressingham just took the, the huge reset, lost all the, the Norfair progression, which wasn't really progression, it was just exploring. And Derp, uh, like, spent even more time on the Baby Metroid. And you have to assume that in this kind of race, every little thing matters. This is 7th seed versus 8th seed. And it is also elimination match. So this is very high stress situation. Okay, so pressing ham is power bombs. So now we're out of the the early game for both runners. You have all your basic ammos. Um, just enough E-Tanks where you can kind of do every heat room. And then a couple of movement items. So we're set up pretty well for the, the mid-game. Where you just explore all the various regions, collect the maps. And look for any easy to get majors. So, now that they are both on track, the state of the race. Derp is ahead. He has the wreck ship map, is into wreck ship. Uh, these items aren't super good. But he has them, he knows what the majors are. Phaser wave is enough beam damage that you can finish Mother Brain with. But for a Ridley fight, you'd still want Varia. When you have, like, Wave Plasma, is when you can think about using that as beam damage for Ridley. Rosie Cam gets the map. 
There's another major over there to the right. That trip is not seen yet. It's a bit of a trip to get these majors. But it also looks like that is the only difference in their position. Pressingham has more Norfair map knowledge, and that includes Dragon. I'm pretty sure Derp hasn't seen Dragon. Uh, so that's going to be helpful, but... Uh, how helpful is that going to be? It's also useful that Bressingham knows Norfair does not connect to anything else. So with this map layout, Derp could continue all the way to the end of like whatever the sequence of regions goes and run to Mother Brain. But Bressingham would know to turn around earlier. And oh, uh, this looks scary. This looks real scary. Oh no. He got Metroided through the transition. In uh, Link to the Past, they call that getting 1.0'd. Uh, so there's actually only a small setback, I think. Yeah, it's only going to be these uh, three rooms. Uh, Bressingham. I didn't see what happened. It's the save same room, though. Oh, the same thing. Okay, uh, that's just how this sort of uh, seat is going, then. They're too evenly matched. The same thing's happening to both. That's Metroid's 4 into the blue hoppers. So not a friendly sequence of rooms. You get an E-Tank for the way back. As well as Ice. Uh, so it should be a lot easier getting back. Uh, for the blue hopper room here, you want to run into the room and hold down. To like do a duck animation. And that will... With this amount of runway, it'll prevent you from getting hit. Pressing him, giving us a nice hopper dodge. And Chris hasn't gotten wave yet, right? He just came this way first. Might as well reset wave. I don't think he really needs it. Like right now, doesn't have the E tanks for skipping Varia. And once you know about wave, I. Well, Ice is actually useful in other ways, you know. No, they don't need to go through Pants Room anymore. I was thinking of Grapple and Ice for Pants Room. But Ridley's gonna be your way out through Norfair, so we don't need that anymore. Um, Derp wouldn't know that. So, he does have Ice, though. So it's probably not too important to worry about Pants Room. But he has seen that it is locking a large portion of Norfair. And has Grapple. So never mind. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that at all. Anyway, they're both looking for a way to kill Ridley, and do we need Fantoon? Ridley, Dragon. 
Me up about 40 minutes, no boss skills. Just something that happens in Map Rando. Wave, grapple. And yeah, a uh, pants room doesn't matter. You want to go down that way to get to Dragon and then come through Ridley on the way up because you got to kill both of them anyway. And I think you need to do that as soon as you can. Derp is in Norfair. Does not have the items for Ridley. Uh, is very close. But... Uh, like, with another E-Tank, you could do it. It'd just be really hard, so I don't know if he'd want to. So this is good for Bressingham. Bressingham knows to continue forward. Derp is, at this point, probably going to run for the map. Uh, but I guess actually, if he does run into enough items to kill Ridley while on the way to Dragon, then that's going to be the better route. When he supers full beam, though. Not just anybody can be 7th and 8th seeds. Okay, so we're going through Frog Speedway. I don't know if that's required or not. Uh, so I think that's kind of going to be the decider, is if Derp finds enough E-Tanks to kill Ridley, and can pull it off. This will be the Green Brin main shaft with the map. It is a left map, but I didn't check the right doors first. No matter. This mother brain. It seems like you have to do a weird wrapping around of Meridia to get here. But otherwise, not too far from Norfair. No, that's not right. In a way, it's right. You have to go back through Rex's ship to get to Meridia. I don't know that map yet. It took Bress a long time to get to it. He explored pretty much the entire area. But we also don't see Derp with any new hollow items of significance. He doesn't have ways to make Ridley easier. And if he wants to keep this Dragon kill, he has to walk out. Like, to save time, 
Um, you could get the map and then reset because he saved before coming down here. But if he were to reset now, then he'd just be the entire Meridia behind in the race. So he just has to kill Ridley here. And that's going to be a bit of a skill check. Not going to have Varia for it. Some more green missiles. Very enjoyable that the missiles are tinted to be the color of the region they're in. So I like calling them green missiles. Uh, bowling likes to have majors. There's only so many more locations that can have this very soon. Just missiles. Oh, we get some caution tape. That's going to be over some crumble blocks, and so that's why it is caution. Uh, ah, he's looking for Fantoon. So Fantoon is not in Norfair. Can be really unfortunate. Normally, you wouldn't think that uh, this is a Fantoon either in Brinstar. It looks like it's not. Where's this Fantoon hiding? Craid. Orion over there. And I don't see any majors. So you get the Craig kill and then you go to Torian. I mean, you don't have to. That's what I think you do. Uh, Mother Brain was Wreck Ship, I believe. At this point, it's kind of in between. I'm ready. Meridia and Rick Ship are really tied together. You have to pass through Rick Ship to get to the other half of Meridia. So from where they are, they're going to have to cross past Mother Brain to get to the remaining boss. But uh, right now, Bressingham going to have a lot of map information. And Derp is just in a, a dicey situation. I think for the race, he can't leave without killing Ridley. Even though Bressingham did all this exploring earlier, uh, after that, Derp was ahead, but then he decided to come down and try and get this Norfair map. Okay, bit of a... Craig gonna stand up for a little bit. Touch the legs. Sit back down. So on Derp's side, uh, his early game involved going through the Baby Metroid room approximately 10 times. This looks like uh, he's leaving. So once you're in a, a close matchup and you make a, a costly mistake like that, make a costly time loss. 
Um, you're not going to feel good about your position in the race. Uh, so maybe that matters. Maybe it doesn't. It also could just be that in order to best finish the seed, you don't do the Ridley fight right now. He was in Norfair for a long time already and wasn't running into anything that's useful for Ridley. Um, I don't know how practiced he is at the really low Ridley fights. Like the three and one with the 30 supers. But this would be on like that level and I don't see a nearby save either. I'm sure there's one down there, but maybe not in a position where you can try over and over. Yeah, we're at uh, 50 minutes. One boss down a piece. Different bosses. Don't have full map information yet. We got a nice decider of a, a seed here. I think the runners work for it. Oh! Is this Ridley? I guess I didn't look at it this way, where you get Dragon leave and then Ridley's not actually that far off path. Uh, this other item is power bombs. That's not helpful. But what was to the left? So to get an E-Tank, and is this another E-Tank? That's a reserve tank. It doesn't want it. The second reserve tank is going to be worth a lot less than the first. You have to manually drain it, and that's going to make your other movements more difficult. Uh, let's see if uh, Derp can do the Ridley fight here. Got that one extra E tank that I said would make the fight possible. Um, it's gonna use 20 supers after doing a couple of plasma shots. Uh, this is not gonna be fast enough. Needs to drain the reserves a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Yeah. You do need to keep the reserves above 80. So in that case, maybe the other, the second reserve would help. But it did, uh, didn't decide to get that. And then actually, if you're only getting the E-Tank here, then it's, it's going to be a lot faster to try again. But I'm saying that it's important for Derp to get this Ridley kill. Bressingham has to cross the entire world. Get back here. Has to go deep into Norfair to get Dragon. And then, then after that, come back for Ridley. Uh, so there's still a lot of cleanup to do. But Bressingham probably finds Varia over here. Only has screw attack and x-ray as the other items that are possible. And also knows that the Torium map is going to be next to Phantom. So, Pressingham on the, the cozy route. Derp on the, the spicy... Ridley fight. That's another major that is not going to be Varia. We get a West Ocean with a Fantoon in it. How about that? How about that, folks? So he's going to be checking the right doors.
Okay, so he gets a uh, Fantine right here. It's gonna be off. And then this will give the map. The map will give Varia. While you're exploring, looking for these final bosses, like you're hoping to find E-Tanks, E-Tanks are going to help you explore the entire time you don't have area. And eventually you could think about skipping it. But uh, in this case... I don't... Yep, they're putting everything on this Ridley fight. It's not an easy fight at all. The extra reserve would help a little bit. If this was 30 supers instead of full beam and 20 supers, uh, he'd probably be more comfortable with it. Uh, because that's more what you practice. You don't try and practice a mix. Missiles. Um, he must not have been dead. Because normally that would be a, a death grab and he wouldn't take a hit. Okay, so bottom of single chamber. Is this our suit? This is not the suit. So Varia is in the very inconvenient top left of Torian. As far away from the start of the seat as it could get. So it's kind of all you can do. Just go up and get it. And this is going to be your two ways of playing map rando in these uh, tournament style races. Got to try to brute force your way through skipping items, like Derp is doing. Or go through a full clear style playthrough. Okay, that was tragic. Got hit by the fire patch. That proc the reserve. And then... Otherwise, Ridley was dead. Yeah, Derp in a lot of pain this seed. First the baby Metroid and now Ridley. You're just going to have a really high death count after this. Really high reset count. And as we know, dying is a time loss. The big ways to lose time in this is to take deaths and lose your progress, or to backtrack across the whole world. And uh, this seed started with an early gravity suit. All three of the races today started with early suits. This was early gravity, and yet it is turning into a pretty long seed. Wow. He almost uh, missed that, but did jump into the claw. And then had 100 energy in reserve, so that's going to spawn the health drops uh, with enough time to pick them up. So, Drip does make it through. Um, so, very important to get the kill. Certainly took longer than he wanted to spend on it.
but from here, what he doesn't know is that uh, you have to go through all of Meridia and... Was it Brinstar? Brinstar above Meridia. And then also all of Torian. So that's why we're not yet done with the seed. I think we've also run over uh, the Pokemon run on the schedule. But it's what it is. We are into the big elimination match between Bressingham and Derp. So once again, Pressingham is the 7th seed, Derp is the 8th seed, this is losers round 2. The loser is out, uh, they're taking really different approaches to the end game, uh, based on the knowledge that they had, and so we're gonna see how it meets up at the end. From where they are right now, they have to cross over between the midpoint of the world, kill the bosses on the other side, and then meet back in the middle for Mother Brain. So. So in a sense, they just cross over and meet in the middle. The big difference is that Pressingham already has all the map knowledge for these regions. And they're kind of big regions too. Meridian and Brinstar, some of the bigger ones. The... Like, another thematic part of regions is that they are sorted by the room count, or the tile count. So Norfair is going to be the biggest, and then Wreckship and Torian are going to be the smallest. Okay, so Bressingham's also already in Norfair. He's found every major. Uh, usually that's not how you win races. Usually you want to take the, the fastest path. And this seed is fairly unavoidable. The, um, the various suit was just in that bad of a location. Uh, I'm not sure what happened with the hollows. Like, we don't have many power bombs, so it must just be that we didn't collect many hollow dots throughout. Uh, normally, an hour in, you'd have at least a row of E-Tanks. And that's when you're fine just not getting Varia. And if not, then you'd have 30 supers. And you'd also be fine not having Varia. Okay, so that is Ridley down, Derp in Meridia. Uh, having the various suit also means that you can quickly go through regions when you're exploring. Pressingham isn't exploring, because he already knows where everything is. Um, but when you don't know what room is coming up, and then suddenly it's the heated room, you gotta watch your health more closely. Because there's Mother Brain. Mother Brain does end up being just in the middle. Okay, it sounds like uh, Pokemon Crystal Co-op is being moved to Speed Gaming 4. We're going to continue on with Super Metroid Map Rando here. I guess I'll look at the schedule. 
uh, when this is over to see where things have shifted. Yeah, so pressing him, he has to go deep into Norfair, so really far away to get to the Dragon kill, but it's going to be his last boss. Durp has to go through... It's a lot of Brinster, I think. Like you go halfway for the map and then the other half for the boss or Kraid. And then after that, you have to go through all of Torian to get to Fantian. Uh, so he's not going to be that close to finishing from here. That's going to be the fourth boss down. Just have to run up through Meridia, take the loop that passes uh, in um, Imrek's ship, and then that'll take you over to Mother Brain. And then Bressingham should be ahead to the Mother Brain fight, I'd expect. Um, should let you know that the Kaizentum and Tony Young uh, race is still going on on Speed Gaming 5. It looks like I might be holding them up a bit. But that's fine. Everyone, everyone likes uh, this race as it is. Okay, so Derp into Kraid, Bressingham still on his way out of Norfair. Okay, into Meridia now. And that's kind of the, the meetup point, is when you get back into Meridia. The Brinstar side is probably a little bit closer. Because the Norfair side has to go through Rick Ship still. But I think from here we can say that Bressingham's ahead. And doesn't really have a challenging Mother Brain fight. The escape might be interesting. The world itself is pretty complicated. Uh, but the escape, probably not that bad. Yeah. Especially from Bressingham's direction. You just return back the way he's taking now. And then continue on to Criteria. If you're coming from Derp's side, it might be harder to remember because it's going to look weird. Yeah, still a lot of kind of danger rooms here. Maybe not a good seed to be skipping Varia, as it turns out. Because you have to go through these longish heat rooms, and then you need the six E tanks for Mother Brain. Um, but maybe we see it. Maybe we don't. On derp side. 
Yeah, there's Wasteland, and then this is Double Chamber. So without Varia, you have to get a lot of energy back here. Once you're into the escape, it's going to give you all the items. So it's not like you're taking heat damage while trying to escape. Uh, if you want, you can turn that off. Uh, but I find it makes the escapes harder. Because then you have to, like, like, really precisely estimate how long it takes to do each room. And you're, if you're a little bit off, then you could just have a not possible escape if you're not given all the items. Uh, but here we essentially have everything. Just missing screw attack. Uh, supers are going to be d more damage than full beam and map rando. So you want to use those. Double the DPS, in fact. Because in the vanilla game, supers and full beam are the same DPS. Set up nicely for that 3 E tanks. So just going to take a rainbow beam. We're going to be skipping the baby cutscene as well as the third phase. Uh, the reasoning there is that the rest of the, the seed playthrough has been long enough. So. Uh, yes, you could like save time over an opponent with a stand-up glitch. But it's pretty minor, and we want to have faster seeds overall. Oh, Bressingham, showing off the, the path under the, the spiky platforms. Fun to see, and you don't really have a reason to ever see it. But here, Hyper Beam lets you break bomb blocks. And so, you can take that path. You're already moving kind of slow with Speed Booster in Lava. So when you morph and roll, it's a little bit faster than running. Uh, there's a few of these rooms that have the platforms just gone. And they're pretty obnoxious. Uh, the escape is long enough that he can take that time loss and be okay on the timer. But uh, Wasteland sucks, and also Double Chamber is pretty bad. The rooms that have the platform enemies. In this escape, you have to go through Rick's ship, then up through Meridia, down through Norfair into Criteria. Uh, there's a question about what happens if there's like, different paths that are both valid. Then the algorithm will find the faster path, and you have to estimate which one is faster yourself, and just find it. Uh, if you guess wrong, then Either you're wildly off and know that it's the other way, or you're close enough that you can make it anyway. But it might be tighter than you think it should be. So from here, it's bottom right of Everest. Uh, with these longer times, like two minute plus escapes, um, I mean, in general, every room that you're doing there's the 50% multiplier. So if there's more of those rooms, then you have more room to make mistakes. And then... Yeah, so from here we're back at Fish Tank. Fish Tank was the first real trick of the seed. I had to get that gravity jump. And we're landing on the ship. So Bressingham is our winner. Gonna knock out Derp. Taking game three of three, the long seed that made them work for this. So GG to press one hour 14. And 
I need to check the schedule to see what happened. Okay, so we have Mystery Tournament on this channel in a bit after this. It says at 3 o'clock. Okay, so that uh, means we have a bit of time here to see how Bressingham Derp are feeling. As long as they're marked down, they should get an invite. They don't have an invite. Okay, I gotta sort that out. Guest. Welcome guests. Uh, Derp and Brez. Cool. Yeah. GG's. GG Derp. Fun uh, last seed is what I would say <laughs> if I was not telling the truth. <laughs> not fun. Yeah. That last one was really tough. Cursed. Yeah, it certainly was. Um... I liked I liked the first and third one at least. Like I kind of like them as map rando seeds, where they show off, um, like what you need to do, what you need to think about in the early game, uh, like or following items, and then also gives you room to like show your skill, like what tricks you can pull off. Um, I don't know that that third seed. Maybe I'm, uh, you know lower on it given what happened to me but i feel like even once you get the missiles and morph there there's just so much there's so many places to go that and none of them have a accessible map so it really feels like you're kind of just running around looking for something like i spent so long in just the first couple areas because there's just nothing there and i couldn't find the maps for a while, if I remember correctly. Like, I think I went over to where yes. Norfair map was two or three times and just kept getting gated by different items and having to go back. Yes. We did see that uh, Bress, like, went down to Norfair and really stuck to it. Found some power bombs to eventually get the map. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, I remember now about Norfair. That was absolutely awful because pretty early on I saw pants room and I saw that my way back looked like it was gauntlet um, it turned out you could also get back through Ridley but uh -huh. I basically did it I spent a huge amount of time getting that map and then saw two bosses and no majors so I had to leave but it, the info was really big because then I could just move on to the rest of the game yeah, so but yeah it was really linear earlier Mm -hmm. yeah if you know that then you know how to move on and then it does become linear like you just go region to region to region uh, like once you have your starting items then maps are more reasonable to get to uh, you just have to like cross most of the region to get there uh, so I guess I'd say that the, the early game where you don't have your basic items was pretty long in this game yeah, it was definitely really confusing. I feel like it was pretty long Early. in the first seed as well. 
like I think it was like a 15 minute oh, yeah. nerf for me that seed. Yeah. Or something along those lines. Yeah, the first seed was you had variant gravity fairly early, but then had to search for more. Right. Yeah, the first one was that the one with uh there uh, what was it? Charge was at the X-ray room. And you had to like get space jump, then get screw attack and spring ball to get that. Then go to Batwoon with like no ammo to fight Trigon for power bombs. Yep. Yeah, that seed was That's really happened. bad. Yeah, and the the first seed, it looked like the difference was actually the the Ridley fight. I think Derp was a little ahead before that, but then a stop for extra items. In preparation for Ridley, and that's why I'm pressing him past him. And then the end, you are just an escape apart. Yeah. yeah, there were a bunch of hollow dots over in that area, and so I was looking for more supers, and it was just all power bombs down there, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the they hollows had, like, two or three power Ridley. bomb packs. Yeah, I checked the hollows by Ridley as well, and of course, there's a super behind Ridley. Yeah, I got that. Me too. <laughs> So did you fight Ridley with like just charge spacer and Yeah, like... it was like charge spacer thirty plus ten or something, and I yeah. did not have a very clean fight. My Ridleys like are my... something I've always kinda needed to work on, as you may have seen. I did end up finally getting a pretty tight fight in this seed, but I'm not super good at fighting Ridley. It's definitely something I would need to work on in the future. Potentially the near future, given that I'm still in a different tournament, even if I am no longer in this one. Uh, yeah, but rough I'm not match up to to, for the elimination. Yeah. I had some Ridley issues in game two as well. It's a tough fight. Yeah, but so yeah I'm, I was just yeah, going to say, I'm, I'm happy with how I played, so... I'm happy with the result and GG Derp. GG's. Good luck. Uh, I think there's a couple more races till you, your next opponent. Yeah, but it's either good luck Simo's, whoever it is. Demo smelling or Spiffy. Yeah. But yeah, thank you. Yep. And thanks, Aussie, for stepping in for commentary too. Yeah, no problem. Uh, worth it for this matchup. Uh, thanks for, for being here, giving us this race. And also thanks to NZT for doing the tracking for all three of the matches and letting us get this restream. Um, but with that, we are sad to see Derp go and wishing Bressingham best of luck in the rest of his matches. It is certainly going to be a hard path from here. A very difficult tournament to get through. But uh, there are more map rando races today. Right now we have Tony and Kazentum on Speed Gaming 5. That is in game 2 currently. Uh, later on we have... We have Nevdi and Mo. It's at 10. And we also have Pirate and Sponge at the same time. So you can tune in for that later tonight. Uh, more matches tomorrow, but then after this week, we're going to be slowing down on the map random races uh, because we are in, we are past the, the early stages of brackets where now a couple of people have been knocked out and uh, just the, the overall match count will drop. Baldi will not. Uh, so continue tuning in looking for super metroid content uh, there is map rando there's also mystery tournament and also the any percent tournament qualifiers have also just started uh, so we're going to be followed by mystery tournament in 30 minutes it looks like and that's going to be ace and dursu so you can tune into that here on speed gaming but that'll be it from us. Uh, 
So thanks everyone who's been here helping set up this restream, the part of the race. And that's it from me. So see you all next time.